Prada Nargesa launches the new H2 furnace burner with two burners, safer, more efficient, and 100% respectful with the environment. We will show you some of the applications, ignition process, and main characteristics of this new generation of forge furnaces. The advantages in performance, safety, efficiency, and robustness make out of this appliance one of the best furnaces in its category, complying with the current legislation for the regulation of appliances that use gas as fuel. The saving of energy is one of the main facts that we have taken into account when designing the furnace. The consumption of Narhesa furnaces has been reduced down to a 75%. That is to say, it consumes a quarter of the fuel used by other furnaces of this type. With a propane cylinder of 35 kilograms, the H2 furnace will operate 50 hours with its two burners at full operation. Narhesa furnaces have been certified by the General Testing and Research Laboratory, Technological Center A+. Furnace H2 has got two burners. All components are inside the structure, preventing from any eventual knock might damage any of the pieces and cause a gas leak. Automatic electronic ignition ensures that the operator does not need to put their hands in the combustion chamber to turn on the gas. The insulation of the combustion chamber is a 100% natural and 100% recyclable material. The compacted vermiculite, which is not harmful to health because it does not contain glass fibers or ceramics. Insulating edges in the entrances of the material to keep the heat inside the combustion chamber. All burners can work independently. One vermiculite divider is supplied with the furnace to reduce the size of the chamber and thus the heat does not spread away. The double layer of this new generation insulation material increases the caloric value of the furnace exceeding 1,300 degrees inside. While on the outside, the temperature ranges between 30 and 60 degrees. The furnace is coated with a caloric paint to protect it and prevent from excessive wear. The high-pressure thermocouple safety valve closes the gas flow when the combustion chamber cools off due to an anomaly, ensuring that there are no possible leaks. A safety anti-return valve regulates the direction of gas flow, preventing the flame from going back into the cylinder. The pressure regulator with built-in pressure gauge allows to adjust the gas pressure more accurately. There are no fuel losses. All the gas that enters the chamber burns out completely. This process is possible with the new design of the burners created and manufactured by Narhesa. High strength and durability is the main feature of the stainless steel gas hose. In general, conventional gas hoses have an expiration date and must be replaced periodically. The steel hoses we use never expire and they are resistant to shocks and contact with fire. The furnace has an auxiliary support for the parts to be heated, which can be adjusted in length and height. This support element has been designed pyramidal toothed to avoid the lateral displacement of the pieces.
It can also be exchanged and placed in any of the furnace doors, as required by the operator. To heat longer bars or pieces, in their middle part, we have designed two removable side doors. With the two burners in operation, we will get a total length of hot material of 250 millimeters. In order to accelerate the heating process, it is important that the bar is slightly separated from the base of the combustion chamber. The height of the support must be adjusted to place the bars correctly. The dimensions of the combustion chamber 324 millimeters wide by 240 deep and 100 high allow the heating of a round bar up to 80 millimeters. The carbon monoxide emissions was another important issue to bear in mind during the designing process and to keep the echo functionality of the furnace. In a normal environment, this value ranges between 0 and 2%. The emissions released by the H2 furnace are 0.002%, totally harmless for health and for the environment. In order to start the furnace correctly, we must first tight up the regulator to the proper adapter to each country. Then we fix it to the propane cylinder, open the tap, and regulate the pressure to 0.5 kilos. Then we open the gas valve a few degrees and press the thermocouple. Press the ignition button just until the flame ignites. We open the gas valve completely, keeping the thermocouple pressed for about 40 seconds while we raise the pressure of the manometer to one kilogram, which is the one recommended by the manufacturer. Depending on the temperature we want to reach, we increase or decrease the gas pressure. Once the 40 seconds have elapsed, we can release the thermocouple valve. If you want to work with two burners, once the burner 1 is lit, we press the electronic ignition button again and open the gas valve 2 progressively up to the maximum. Once it is functioning, we make sure that the flame is the correct one to optimize its performance. On the left, we show an incorrect flame. We must correct it to achieve an efficient combustion. To do this, we will close the gas valve to the minimum, and then we'll open it a few degrees until we get the desired flame. Finally, we're going to open the gas valve completely until we check that the flame is like the one shown in the image. When we want to turn the furnace off, we close the tap of the cylinder adapter. When the flame is off, we remove the adapter and close the valves off so we can release all the pressure on the gas circuit. One of the best ways to economize and speed up the job is to gradually replenish the cold raw material as we're taking the hot one out. All the pieces shaped up in hot are of greater beauty and originality, which means a higher price in the market for their exclusive designs. The Narhesa furnaces H1, H2, and H3 are a good substitute for the old forge. Much cleaner, faster, and a lot more efficient. Thank you for keeping your